Okay, so we're having a look here at a platform serve versus a step-up serve, which famously Federer does a platform serve that still gets a lot of knee bend and power from not using that back foot coming up. So let's see Tom do his original serve. So you can see here he steps up, and it's okay sometimes, but it sort of loses balance. Now let's see if we can keep this back foot back, Tom, and rocking backwards into the motion. So you can see there, he's naturally still wanting to go up because he's used to it. But if he keeps his back foot back, so let's Tom says, so if we can rock backwards, then rock forwards, you can, your front foot should project, uh, your back foot should project after you finish the serve. So you can see there, he's hit his back foot back, he's rocking back onto the back weight, then he pushes back up again. So let's try it again. So Tom, let's get our ball toss straight ahead. Let's rock backwards. Yep, keep the body weight down. Then project it. So your foot came up again, Tom. Yeah. You're used to that. Now, see if we can try this. Keep this back foot back. Just practice one with don't even moving your don't even move your feet. Just keep them. Don't even move them. So keep them down the whole time. Don't move them. Don't move them. You naturally want to move them. You don't have to. Don't move. Yep. Good, so he's done that, and he's still got to serve over the net with curve without moving. Now do it, but put the weight back, and then bounce forwards without moving that foot up. Much, nice, excellent. And you see this, with this platform serve, because he gets so much uh, momentum after the back of the serve, he pushes into the court, and he's got a positive uh, start to the point, which is so much better.